This is my German K98 1942 BYF. It's an all matching rifle, everything except the bolt. The bolt is matching itself, everything but the safety. The stock was matching, but it was sporterized, so I bought a new stock. Here's the old one. He chopped it straight, put a rubber butt pad on it. Looks like he sanded it down really good. Stock is matching. 2803. 2803. 2803. Right, right, right there. 2803. Whatever. So their stock is a Russian capture. It had shellac on it. I took the shellac off, put two coats of raw linseed oil on it. it has the Waffen amp right here. It is a BYF 135. It has another mark on here. Um, I'm not sure what exactly that it is. It kind of looks like a tula mark. Or else, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking maybe an L, but kind of looks more like a T. So, there's no bluing right there. All the bluing is gone. And on the mag plate, no bluing on the mag plate. This is not original, this is a reproduction band, reproduction spring, and the reproduction band right here, reproduction cleaning rod, and a sight hood. Has locking screws. Damn it, I can't get no goddamn light on there. Yeah, 1934 was actually uh, the first made K98 from Melzer Orbendorf. It said S slash 42K, the K meaning 1934. And then in 1935, it was actually adopted into the German army. And it said S slash forty or yeah S slash forty two G, and then they went to S slash forty two, and then I think they went to forty two sometime around nineteen thirty eight or nineteen forty or something, and then in nineteen forty one they went to BYF, and then in forty two it might have been forty one also. But they put a 135 Waffen amp. It's actual. Uh, it's actually an assembly proof mark. When when the gum is all done. But in 1935, Mauser Orbendorf sold blueprints, tooling gauges, all types of machining to all other manufacturers, and then. Whoever made the K98 had to pay him royalty. Nineteen forty-two, they made four hundred and ten thousand. And then in nineteen forty-three, they made one million. Um, 142,000 or did I say 42 I mean 43 and then 44 being the highest production year 
I don't know what they made that year though. You also got the year and the month stamped below the butt plate. So if you take the butt plate off, it'll tell you what what month and year was made. Got another matching number right there. Just the last two digits, 03. 2803. For serial number. So. That should be about it.